Hello and welcome to Euro Football Daily. Yes, I'm wearing a gym kit. It's because I got wet on the way to work. Today, we're profiling 10 of the most exciting teenagers in world football, including transfer targets for Man United, Arsenal and Tottenham. Though we've decided to leave out a few obvious candidates, like Jadon Sancho, for example, the 10 players on our list could end up defining the future of football. Let's jump right in. Number 10, Mason Greenwood. With Romelu Lukaku and Alexis Sanchez both leaving for Inter Milan in 2019 and only Daniel James arriving to bolster the front line at Old Trafford, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer made his faith in 17-year-old Mason Greenwood abundantly clear. Born in Bradford, the forward has been with United since he was six and despite his age has turned out for England's under-21s already, where his ability to take penalties and free kicks with both feet has caught the attention of both coaches and scouts. Solskjaer should be able to spot a finisher when he sees one, and Greenwood has all the hallmarks. He was named the Academy Player of the Year in 2018-19, following in the footsteps of Rashford, Scholes and Giggs, and that season he scored 26 and laid on eight more in just 30 appearances across youth leagues, the FA Youth Cup and the UEFA Youth League, contributing to a strike every 67 minutes, and, as a reward, getting runouts in the Prem and the Champions League. At the time of writing, Greenwood is the youngest player to appear in the top tier this campaign, and United's many squad holes could give him the opportunity to shine, much as an injury crisis under Louis van Gaal gave Rashford his shot at a first-team spot. If Greenwood develops into half the player, United's faith will have been well-placed. Number 9. Ansu Fati Anyone getting on the field in the Barcelona shirt at age 16 deserves our attention, and when Ansumane Fati ran out onto the Camp Nou grass for the last 12 minutes of Barca's 5-2 win over Real Betis in August 2019, he became the youngest player to appear for the club since 1941. A tricky left winger, Fati played a full half in the next fixture, a draw with Osasuna, and this time got on the score sheet, heading home from fellow La Masia graduate Carlos Perez's cross to become the youngest scorer in the Blaugrana's history and the third youngest in the history of La Liga. The Bissau Guinean moved to Spain as a child and as a result could represent his homeland, Portugal or La Roja at international level, with the Spanish Federation reportedly looking into granting citizenship to the youngster so he can join the squad. That may seem premature, but Fati stood out in the Barca youth teams too, grabbing seven goals and assists in nine games in last season's UEFA Youth League as the club reached the semi-finals. And with persistent injuries to Luis Suarez, Leo Messi and Ousmane Dembele, he's sure to see plenty of opportunities over the coming 12 months. Though at the time of recording he's yet to complete a dribble in roughly an hour of play, Fati looks to have the raw materials and more importantly, the trust of his manager required to make the grade at the top level. Perhaps the 16-year-old's arrival heralds the beginning of another golden era for La Masia. Number 8. Dominic Soboslai Before we move on to our next section, make sure that you drop us a like, a comment and of course subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to never miss a video. Linked with Arsenal, Dominic Soboslai is sure to be a big name in future transfer windows. The Hungarian has spent his whole career to date, all two seasons of it, in Austria, turning out for Liefering and now RB Salzburg who paid 500,000 euros for him in 2017. A versatile midfielder who can play centrally, wide or in attack, the 18-year-old already towers over opponents at 6 foot 1 and has five hungry caps to his name as well as an international goal. And though in theory you'd expect to find him spraying passes from deep, Soboslai is most comfortable breaking into the box. In 2017-18, his debut campaign, he grabbed 24 goal involvements in 39 games and in 18-19 got 21 in 29, including a first assist in the Europa League. That's a product of great vision and movement, with nearly two chances created per 90 and two dribbles completed, while he also contributes out of possession, regaining the ball around five times a game for his side. This kind of all-round production sparked talk of the teenager as the new Milinkovic Savic, and makes Arsenal's interest in him as a long-term Ramsey replacement sensible, especially given the success enjoyed by multiple graduates of Ralph Rangnick's finishing school. Since he joined Salzburg, Zoboslai's value has multiplied 20-fold, and it's surely a matter of time before he moves to a top side. And by a top side, we mean RB Leipzig. Number 7. Alfonso Davis A Bayern player since January 2019, Alfonso Davis has just 100 minutes to his name in the red shirt, but two Bundesliga goals following on from an excellent season with the Vancouver Whitecaps in 2018. 
The Canadian, born in Ghana but raised in Edmonton by Liberian refugees, was involved in 17 goals in his last year in MLS, as well as completing nearly five dribbles a match, an output which would have ranked top of the Bundesliga in 1819, knocking Jadon Sancho into second place. Despite playing little more than one full game in Germany, Davis has managed four take-ons in the division and won possession on three occasions, perhaps thanks to a work rate sharpened by time playing at left-back for his national side. Named by Bayern legend Lothar Matthäus as the future of the club and the fastest player in the squad, he already has a Bundesliga medal to his name and with coach Niko Kovac refusing to send him out on loan, he's highly likely to see more game time this year. Following the departures of Robin and Ribéry, with only Serge Gnabry, the often injured Kingsley Coman and the ageing Ivan Perisic ahead of him. After years of being the oldest club in Germany, Bayern made an effort to build a younger team for the 2019-20 season, and a star turn from Alfonso Davis could be the key to fending off a strengthened Dortmund and a Nagelsmann-led Leipzig, as well as heralding the beginning of a new era at the Allianz. Number 6. Per Schurz after the 160 million euro sales of Frankie de Jong and Matthijs de Ligt, all eyes are turned to Ajax to see what the next wave of young Dutch talent will bring. But strangely, the USA has been the breeding ground for two of their brightest talents this time round, with Boston-born defender Kik Piri joining in the summer and American fullback Serginho Dest shining in the early stages of the campaign. However, the great hope in central defence is the homegrown Per Schurz, a 19-year-old who, at 6'3", is even bigger than De Ligt. Schurz has started two of the Amsterdam side's four games at the time of recording, and Ajax are currently conceding just 9.3 shots per match, the third best record in the Eredivisie. Schurz has played his part in that, making three tackles and interceptions a game without a single opponent getting past him so far, while an experienced international like Dali Blint is getting beaten in 60% of his attempted challenges. More importantly, in Ten Hag's possession system, Schurz is completing nearly 70 passes per 90 minutes, finding the target with all his long balls and maintaining a 94% pass accuracy, the gifts which saw him gain international attention in the summer of 2019, when a video of his line-breaking distribution went viral. Of course, it's too early to say if Schurz will succeed in the Netherlands, let alone outside, but with Ajax boasting a plus 11 goal difference after only four fixtures, it seems that he may well end his maiden season as a professional with an Eredivisie medal. Number 5. Florentino Luis Defensive midfielder Florentino Luis may be 20 now, but he started the season as a teenager, and from nowhere he became a gossip column mainstay. The Benfica man has made only 18 senior appearances at the time of recording, but already has league and cup titles to his name, as well as two European championships as an under-17 and under-19 with Portugal, making interest from both Manchester clubs and PSG a little less absurd. An outstanding holding player, Luis has made an astonishing 7.9 tackles and interceptions a game since breaking into the 11, meaning that when he's on the field he wins the ball back for Benfica every 11 minutes. He's also a strong distributor, with 50 passes a game, and though he rarely attempts long balls, he has succeeded with 88% of those he's tried in his career so far, while losing possession less than once every two matches. No wonder that Benfica handed him a new contract just nine months after he signed his first, raising his buyout from 60 million euros to 120 million, the same as former Eagles wonder kid João Felix left for. Elite defensive midfielders who can also pass will always be in high demand, and Luis is showing a rare ability at an early age. If he can break into the national side this season, Euro 2020 could reveal him to the world and hand him a third continental medal before he's 21. Number 4. Bubakar Kamara Getting game time at a young age is impressive enough, but being a regular in a top league is a strong indication of quality. Boubacar Camara was the fifth most used player at Marseille in 2018-19, starting the campaign as an 18-year-old and helping his side to a fifth-place finish, though admittedly they did concede a massive 52 goals along the way. However, that was hardly the Frenchman's fault, as when called upon, he defended admirably. With 1.7 interceptions per 90, he was second in the squad and clearly good at reading play, while he added 2.5 tackles and won 57% of his aerial duels a strong record for a player in just his second year in Ligue 1. Able to play at fullback and defensive midfield, he also showed strength with the ball at his feet, ranking fifth in the team for both passes per game and long balls completed, while losing possession only seven times in 31 appearances. 
Marseille struggled to keep Camara as an academy player, having to fight off Dortmund, Arsenal and Man United for his signature, and his two-footedness and exceptional athleticism, coupled with the Provence side's financial woes, mean that he's sure to attract suitors sooner rather than later. Marseille will hope that as a lifetime fan of the Fosséans, Camara can be persuaded to commit his future to the Stade Vélodrome. Number 3. Morgan Gibbs-White For all the talent in England's youth setup, the three Lions still have a big hole in central midfield, with talents like Mason Mount, Joe Willock, James Madison and Phil Foden all preferring to play in the hole. So that leaves a space for Wolves' Morgan Gibbs-White, who can feature in the middle of the park as well as in a more advanced role. Gibbs-White was born just half an hour from Molyneux and won the Under-17 World Cup in 2017, helping Nuno Espirito Santo side win promotion a year later. The youngster made 26 league appearances in the top flight last term, but saw an average of just 25 minutes in each of those, grabbing a single assist in that time. However, his underlying numbers looked strong in attack, with 1.5 key passes and 1.7 dribbles per 90 minutes, and he was an able participant in build-up play, with only five Wolves teammates completing more passes per game than his 44, and only four outfielders succeeding with more long balls than his 2.8. However, under one defensive action per match shows clear room for improvement, and the 19-year-old will need to develop his all-round game if he wants to earn a place in Gareth Southgate's plans. But as Joao Moutinho enters his 34th year, a spot in Wolves' starting 11 could open up sooner rather than later, and Gibbs White is ready to take advantage. Number 2. Max Ahrens A difficult start to life in the top flight saw Norwich concede 10 goals after 4 games, the worst record in the Premier League. However, the Canaries had to face Chelsea and Liverpool in the opening weeks of the season, and their attractive offensive style has earned the admiration of many neutrals with only four sides scoring more than their six at the time of recording. 19-year-old English right-back Max Ahrens has been an ever-present so far, playing over 4,000 league minutes since the beginning of last season, during which he ranked fourth in the squad for game time. Naturally attack-minded, he delivered six assists last year, and while he's yet to create a goal in the top tier, he has improved on the 1.4 dribbles he put up in the championship with 2.3 a game this term though his success rate has plummeted from 61% to 46%. Meanwhile, he seems to be making strides forward defensively. Though he wins the ball back for his team just 2.3 times a match, that's a better tally than Jamal Lewis on the left flank. And he's extremely difficult to get past on the ground, with 88% of his challenges seeing him come away with the ball. As he develops physically, his dribbling and aerial ability are likely to get stronger, but there is enough to like in the youngster's game to explain Mauricio Pochettino's long-standing interest in the defender. The only negative is at international level. With Alexander-Arnold, Walker, Trippier and Wan-Bissaka ahead of him, he's unlikely to see action in an England shirt anytime soon. Number 1. Erling Braut Haaland Six foot four and born in Leeds rarely spells world-class striker, but Erling Braut Haaland might be on his way to stardom in 2019-20. The Norwegian forward is the son of Alf Inge Haaland, famously hobbled by Roy Keane, and joined RB Salzburg in January 2019 after impressing at Molde, where he was handed his debut by Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. A great goalscorer from the get-go, Haaland bagged a goal or assist every 102 minutes in Norway when he was still just 18, and earned headlines at the Under-20 World Cup after hitting 9 in a 12-0 win over Honduras. With a record like that, the move to Austria was probably inevitable, but Haaland cost Red Bull just 5 million euros, and his value has already more than doubled to 12 million, according to Transfermarkt. And the reason is obvious when you look at his stats. In six league appearances to date, Haaland has scored eight, and across 12 games in all competitions, he's contributed to 15. That's one every 48 minutes. If he continues at the current rate, he'll hit the 20 goals managed by last season's Bundesliga top scorer, Bonus Dabur, after 15 games. And remarkably, he's far more than just a poacher, currently putting up three dribbles and the same expected assist per 90 as Bernardo Silva and Nicola Pepe, as well as taking five shots a match. With Timo Werner's new contract reportedly containing a 30 million euro buyout clause, sister club RB Leipzig will likely be looking for a new striker next year. Julian Nagelsmann must be licking his lips. 
So those were our 10 teenagers you have to watch this season, but who did we miss out and who would you have included? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, drop us a like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to never miss a video and check out yesterday's Euro transfer talk where we've been covering all the big stories from around Europe. We'll see you next time.